Last time on Rags to Riches 2024. Check the painted cosmetics. Nothing. Check scrap weapons. Nothing. Basically the average trader experience. Don't go into the light. Don't go into the light. Found a Q suit, one reclaimed under Bioware, so I would buy it if the stupid bot would hurry the hell up. Oh, there it goes. Tee -hee. Juicy, fat, thick-ass profit. Then my cat unplugged my monitor, so I spent a minute fixing it. Then uh, I went right back to trading, baby. Hey, you look at me right now! Hoping to God he gets this shit out of my inventory, please! On STN, that being a budget Uncle Dane, an edgy, furry middle schooler. I'm not tingling, you are. Shut up! I'm actually begging you, dude. Ah! Yo, really quick, just wanted to warn everyone that I've been getting a lot more impersonators recently on Discord and Steam, so I uh, just wanted to give another warning. I will never have my backpack private, nor will I ever send you a link for my backpack. I will never ask for any of your items or ask to sign any of your items. Make sure you are talking to the real me. Anyway, thank you, enjoy the video. Yo, yeah, baby! I logged in and first thing I did is I checked buy orders on nine craftable weapons and a couple had good buy orders, so I quick sold them. I uh, then tabbed in to accept my loot and got a freaking gargoyle oh my god is what i would have said if the items from the contracts are tradable but since they aren't i don't really care and while i was writing this script i apparently found some more crates from this year's halloween which was huge i then went ahead and put back up for sale all the listings that got taken down because i'm broke and can't afford backpack premiums yeah eat the fucking rich I actually didn't quick sell the key from last episode since I figured keys would go up, but instead uh, they went down. So, uh, fuck me, I guess. I don't know. But it's okay. Lost like five rev. However, I'm trying not to sell it right now so I don't technically lose money. I then checked buy orders to quick sell the cases and oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. I quick sold it to Long Bottom Leaf instead. Anyway, I got some metal from them so I can play around with. Did actually manage to find a non craftable reserve shooter on STN, which of course will probably be in my inventory for the entirety of the series. I checked all the normal bots I did every other episode, uh, or I would have, but my internet was on life support. So I check backpack to try and check buy orders. Come on, bro, goddammit. Holy shit, Satan slapped the shit out of my router. How the hell do I have 800 p? So I called up my nearest IT specialist. Help me fix my internet. Hmm, well, have you tried turning it off and back on again? So I turned it off and back on and waited patiently. Oh my god, it's back, let's go! And I still have 900 ping. With trading way harder because everything takes forever to load, I still push forward because I love trading and I need to get a video up by Friday. Found a hat finally under BioWare's, which was the Soundsmith topper, but my internet made this take five minutes just to accept, which was the funnest, most enjoyable time of my life. So instead, I just said fuck this before I break my router and called it a day. Second day! I logged in, the dude I sent the crate to yesterday uh, accepted, so that was easy profit. GG. More of my non craftables had buy orders, so I quick sold them. Yep. Uh, Took a month for two scrap profits. Sold most of my non craftables luckily. Then found a super cheap freelance grade skin that I can later turn into stat clocks for profit, which made me very happy. Looked around for a while to try to find any paints or anything under what it should be, and honestly, uh, no luck. So I switched to scrap. Ah! Anyway, yeah, I didn't find shit like always. Man, how do I tell my audience I'm already out of ideas? Hmm. Let's check the comments and see if anyone can give me ideas. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's one. Uh, kill streak kits. Okay. Uh, not a bad idea. So I decided to look at kill streak kits all by myself with no input or help in any way. While I was checking which kits should be the most profitable to craft, uh, I got distracted and checked the already made kits buy orders and found I could make some decent profit just doing this alone. So I did just that. However, uh, I don't really have enough currency to uh, try and do this method yet. So instead, I will come back to it later. After scrolling for basically half an hour, I started passing out at my desk. So uh, I actually went to sleep. God, why did I think this was a good idea? Day three. I finally just decided to sell the key and stop being stupid, which would automatically make me have so much more room to play with. I don't know why I was being so stupid, but now I'm a changed man and 5% less stupid. Crafted more stack clocks because I couldn't find much else. Uh, and holy shit, I've never been so bored in my entire life. I'm having so much fun. Gee golly Jones, man. Scrolling for hours is so much fun, dude. <laughs> So at this point, I want to use the Steam Community Market since there's a lot I can do with it, to be honest. But uh, I haven't used this account for like over a year until I started the series, so I had to buy a game for five bucks. And of course, I chose a random furry game because it felt right. So now I should be able to use it later when uh, it auto-removes. And I will make sure to delete the 72 cents when I can. And of course, I have to wait a full week for it. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I swear, I'm having so much fun right now. Grab his nipple and twist it! Anyway, I made another stack clock and sold it for profit. Uh, found another kit, a ref under buy order, so I snagged it. The dude accepted the stack clock trade, so that was 
Cool, I guess. Man, this has got to be the most boring shit I've ever done in my life. I sold my bad at Hells for two scraps since I wasn't doing anything with them anyway, to be honest. I then found a soda popper, which was kind of huge, to be honest. And wow, it's the dude from the last video. Go nuts, bro, on God. Found a deep fried desire on backpack, half a ref under bio order, so I resold that shit ASAP, baby. Or I would have, but uh, of course, every single bot either didn't have metal or flat out just did not accept. After reading my comments, I realized Joey got his first unusual, which is sick, so I asked him in game, which it was, and he was the square dance, which is my favorite taunt, so I got excited. Uh, I'm not biased. Anyway, huge congrats to my boy Joey. GG's dude. I needed a nice wholesome interaction before I fucking lose my damn mind. I ended up selling it for what I bought it for uh, because I don't want to lose profit and I already wasted so much time, so pick and choose your battles, I guess. But after waiting a bit, uh, they still didn't fucking accept, so now I wasted even more of my time. And I'm left with a choice. I either quick sell it for a ref loss or wait it out and see if I can sell it for profit. So I waited and prayed to Gabe and Christ that buy orders wouldn't go lower than they already were. And after being incredibly frustrated, I checked the hatbots on Scrap and STN again and got a bit lucky. Found a man coat painted uh, Pyromancer Mask. Hi, man. Nice paint. Very good paint region. So I snagged it and uh, put it up on backpack for 12 ref. There's a seller at 8. However, you need to add him. And most people don't do that, so I'm trying to take advantage of people's laziness to make some juicy profit. Anyway, I scrolled around for a while and couldn't find anything. Came back to STN and holy shit, I made profit. Oh my god. We're starting to feel good, so I crafted a level 69 brim full of bullets. Not bad, to be honest. It is level 69, so I'm gonna listen and hope to god someone is super unfunny and buys it. Then got super bored, so I decided to. <clears throat> craft slash gamble a shit ton for more objectors. I made it out with a good bit of profit, to be honest, which was cool, and I uh, could probably just buy and resell porn objectors and make it to a high tier unusual in a month, uh, but uh, that's boring, so I'm gonna do it the hard way. This was a joke, obviously, but yes, it is actually extremely effective. <clears throat> Not that I would know. Uh, anyway, Quick sold the objectors for immediate to reclaim profit and decided to wait before selling the others to make sure I got the most out of each one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I quickly sold everything. What in the anime? Why am I still doing this series? Holy shit, that's a blood scope! That's probably like 10 keys and definitely not gonna take me till I'm dead to sell it! Let's go! I passed. I'm not that stupid, I promise. I then kept scrolling through websites aimlessly for like 30 minutes and found jack shit every single time, so I took a break and ate for a bit. Uh, now, let's read some comments. True. Uh, true. Will do. Cactus did kind of go wild, not gonna lie, it was pretty lucky. Fuck Luffy bot, bro. Like, actually. So true, bestie. So true. <laughs> You know, people just don't understand how hard it is to answer what HUD I use, and I feel like it- I just go unhurt, you know? Okay, okay, I get you, but dude, what the fuck is a custom HUD? More gambling, let's go! Gambling was actually insane, I got like two objectors and three malls. I went with Pyro this time, because Pyro has two pretty expensive crafts, along with all the same crafts as Sniper, like Bat Out of Hell, Hamshank, and Freedom Staff. This man is addicted, bro, holy shit, somebody help this man. Bobos, let's go! Sold pretty much everything, and as I was trading away all my bad out of hells, they restocked and had way bigger buy orders, so I missed out on triple the profit. But I'm not mad. No, no. I'm better than that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Then I gambled a lot more since this is clearly working, uh, so might as well keep going until it stops getting me profit. Second time was kind of a waste of time since I broke even, but uh, I'll take it over making a big loss, so it's fine. Then was finally able to sell all my malls uh, and other things. And uh, we're now over at Key again, so we're back on track. Searched around for a while and couldn't find anything. Then my internet went crazy again, so I just called it a day and got off. Hey, yo. No, 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 no not like that. Day four. I got bored and got on my main account, and, uh, oh, someone recognized me. Oh, I'm working on it right now, dude. Don't worry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. He's right. I'm a loser. My content is copy and paste. I'm just doing the same thing. He's reading my exact movements. So I'd hide my shame, I got on my ult so I uh, wouldn't be bullied anymore. And I got a case trap. And holy shit, we can use the Steam Camille Market, let's go! First off, I gotta make sure that I have zero fun, so I'm gonna make people probably extremely mad by just deleting it. Uh, however, it's necessary. This reminds me of when Ethos Lab would just throw diamonds into lava just to piss people off. Oh my god, it's a Bundwagon, no way! It's a Bundwagon! Oh my god, it's a Bundwagon, no way! Okay, so now that I have access to the Steam Camille Market, I'm actually going to exploit the actual shit out of the skin market. <laughs> Whoever just laughed, I'm actually about to shut you the fuck up. If you are wondering how I'm deciding which skins are profitable and which aren't, I'm taking the ref amount and multiplying it by 0.03, and taking into consideration the tax fee on Steam Community Market as well. Found some absolutely insane profit, which is exactly why I wanted to use this method. Found a splendid screen, but at this point, uh, who really gives a shit anymore? Hey guys, cool stuff. Guys? I know it- I know I don't have much, but- Hello? If anyone wonders why I haven't sold my cases on Steam yet, it's because after tax I only get one cent, so I'd rather just use it for metal instead. So I kept buying and reselling skins, usually OG skins like Black Dahlia and Shot to Hell sell more frequently. And after basically 15 minutes, I already made over a key profit and uh, 
Okay. Was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'm like rich now or something. Freaking swave me, boardwagon. Anyway, after all of it sells, I did the meth, uh, then the math, and I basically put in around 60 ref, and I'm gonna get back almost 1.5 keys. So, uh, GG. So now, while I'm low on metal and bored, I'm going to gamble more like always. However, I'm stupid and wasn't doing scouts melees like this guy suggested. Uh, so thank you so much for the suggestion. Now let's abuse the shit out of it. Relaxing music. Hmm. Soothing. I was hella nervous at first, not gonna lie, but we managed to walk out with some decent profits, so it's all right. I then spent the next 15 minutes selling everything and looking through buy orders to see which would give me the best deals. After that, I listed up for sale my other items, mostly rocket jumpers that I forgot to put up earlier because my brain stopped working. Uh, then sold a case, yada yada do. Then did more gambling to try to make back as much as I possibly can from the skins, so I have items to play with while I wait for the skins to sell. Um, uh, excuse me? More gambling. Some would call me crazy, but I prefer challenge. Anyway, uh, holy shit, it's going, it's going, it's going. Going, it's going, yes, yes, and it's insane profit, baby, holy shit! More gambling, give me more! Okay, I lost money, so I'm stopping now. Sold all the items I got and tried to break even, but I was a couple reps short. Not a huge deal, though. And at this point, I'm extremely tired, so I tried to look and see what other skins uh, are good to resell for profit uh, before I went to sleep. Found a minimal wear, played shotter skin, which was huge. So, off to the Steam community market you go. And now I'm tired, and I will go check back tomorrow to see if the skin sold. Day five! Logged in, a couple skins sold, uh, and they were both, of course, the ones I thought would never sell. Ironic. Also, I got another random crate drop and found another a really good skin to profit off of, so I snagged that shit. Went to more gambling, and no, I will not stop. Thank you for asking. Made out with like 1.5 times my mounting back, so it was profit. Tried to quick sell everything, and uh, of course, why would a bot have metal? An automatic service that's made to make my life easier, why would it actually do its damn job? Anyway, I quick sold everything that was worth my time, then quick sold my new case drop. Life is good. Checked raffles because I was bored. I found someone being upset they lost profit, so I tried giving them some encouragement. Hopefully, it helps them feel better. You got this. Found steak, which was great because I'm hungry as fuck. Then did even more gambling because right now it's really the only way I'm making a lot of money, but I made huge profit. Eat my ass. You can also use Steam Community Market to update your inventory as well, by the way. Just put something up for sale for a lot, then remove it again, and it should auto update your inventory for websites. And of course, scrap is just shit and takes forever to load any update to your inventory. So, you know, good old scrap. You remember when we didn't have SDN? Holy shit, I would have given up already. I then force updated my inventory on scrap because I got super tired of waiting and it was worth it because I got force scrap more from just quick selling on scrap compared to anywhere else. So that's great. I basically spent this day just gambling, to be honest, to try to get back to a key. Made more profit. You get the idea. Uh, kept getting more and more mentally unstable with every craft, but I uh, made a lot of profit, so it kept being worth it. Holy shit, I sound like a fucking gambling addict. This time I lost profit, but I'm probably going to keep going because it's fun. It's fun, okay? Shut up. Shut up. Also, I only got a vaccinator drop, which was kind of nuts. So made up for a little bit of profit loss that I had. I uh, started having dog shit luck with this one, so I tried a different crafting recipe instead, which is a one of three chance to get something good. Uh, barely made profit on the last one, so let's be stupid and try it again. Again, barely made out with double profit. However, I noticed that one of the watches I crafted were level 100, so I put it up for sale to match the cheapest seller, but I'll discount two ref cheaper for full pure. After checking my listings, I realized I had adding preferred on my trade offers, so I put send trade offers uh, instead by checking this box. Yeah, I can't be smart all the time, man. The video's pretty much over, and uh, this was basically the end of it. But, uh, funny story. I've actually been creating raffles on Scrap for a few days now, uh, mostly out of boredom. They haven't even been, like, anything crazy. A few people have recognized me from the raffles, which is awesome. I logged into Scrap this morning of finishing the script, and apparently I got a warning for being political? And I was confused, and I'm like, I'm really never political. Mostly because I don't really give a shit, to be honest. Uh, however, yeah, I, I got a warning and literally no information about what was actually political. Uh, so I basically just said there was no information, don't exactly know what I did wrong, uh, sent the message, just called it a day. Then I noticed my raffle with the Patriot Peak named Peak ended, and I was like, there is actually no fucking way that this would be political, right? But sure enough, this had to be it, which I kind of see maybe why they thought, because I did post this like four hours after the election, uh, but there was a, literally nothing political about this at all. I even posted a raffle before this one, so you can see my dumb name schemes and where it came from. Uh, I don't really mind, I just, just thought it was really funny. This has got to be the stupidest shit I think I've ever been warned for in my entire life. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.